Hello fellow collectors, Frank MTTM here, back with another TTM success video. TTM stands for Through the Mail. This is Through the Mail Autograph Successes. I get autographs through the mail, mostly from sports players. Today I have one to share. This is one TTM. This is from a former Major League Baseball player from the 1950s who played very briefly in the minors, yet has a distinction being part of the original Miami Marlins triple a team of the 1950s and i also am going to share an update on a set i've been working on for quite a few months now let's get right at it we have a one for one in 14 quick days at las vegas nevada no fee we have mr mickey misiloda i think it's pronounced misiloda Hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. And here on this, this is a 1954 Topps reprint here in black ink. Looking sharp. This is Robert Peter Misi Loda or Mis Mice Loda, otherwise known as Mickey. He was born on October 20th, 1928. He is 92 years young. He was born in Corona, New York, a neighborhood in the borough of Queens in New York City. He was a right-handed bat and throw and shortstop who played 13 total seasons of professional baseball with two cups of coffee in the majors with the Philadelphia Phillies during the 1954 and 1955 seasons. Serving mostly as a pinch runner in the majors, he scored two runs in 17 career major league games, walking and striking out once with no hits and in seven total, nine total plate appearances, seven of them official. He was initially signed by the Phillies before the 1947 season at 18 years old. He played his first professional, four professional seasons in the lower minors before missing the 1951 and 1952 seasons serving for the U.S. Army in the Korean War. Thank you for your service, Mr. Missy Loda. Upon return from the service, he played for the Class C Terahade Phillies in 1953, having his best season perhaps in professional baseball. On the Major League roster for the 1954 season with the Phillies, one newspaper report from April 8, 1954 referred to, to him as rookie infielder from Terahuda, who, to, Terahude, who found his bat and eye when he donned glasses last year. Batted 297, made 15 homers and 72 RBIs. Can play second, short, or third as a hollow guy and good fielder, says the Sporting News. Misi Loda split time between the Major League Phillies and AAA Syracuse Chiefs during the 54 and 55 seasons. He was considered a promising prospect going into the 1956 season and spent spring training with the Phillies trying to fight his way onto the Major League roster. But by the end of the March, with a couple of weeks to go into the season to begin, he was noted as playing very well, and the Phillies were considered keeping him on the Major League roster for the season. Yet, yet he ended up not making the team, and that was the last of his Major League experience. He was sent to AAA for the newly formed Miami Marlins, where he remained for three years, from 1956 to 58. He was an original Miami Marlin, playing with some future great players, um, including future Hall of Famer, former Negro League great Leroy Satchel Page, later with winning the Hall of Fame, among others. And not during his time with the Miami in 1956, Misi Loda was known for his defensive plays at the shortstop position, making three good ones in a 6 1 loss against Havana Cubans in late May. In 1957, he was part of a Mar Marlins infield, which was considered the best in the International League playing shortstop alongside third baseman Woody Smith and future major leaguers Bobby Young at second and Cuban-born Pancho Herrera at first. One writer is noted as saying they make plays the Phillies couldn't make. The Marlins lost to the Buffalo Bisons in the International League Finals that year. Misi Loda spent the offseason of 57 in the Dominican Winter League and all that he did not impress with the bat during his three-year tenure with the Marlins only hitting for combined 219 batting average. There were some hit and highlights during the 1958 season. His performances that 
season included a triple late in a game against the Richmond Virginians to win it 3-2 and a walk-off home run against the Montreal Royals to win the, that game 2-1. After the 1958 season, Misaloda was released from the Marlins and he joined the Birmingham Barons, a Detroit Tigers affiliate in the Southern Association. We spent the final the final three seasons of a professional career. In 1960, Misi Little was named to the Southern Association All-Star team alongside fellow Barons Stan Palaz and Ron Nisquix. He finished the season with a 253 batting average in 150 games and career highs and home runs with 20 and RBIs with 87. In total, at all levels, Misi Lota had a 242 batting average with 104 home runs and 532 RBIs and 5,647 at-bats. He also slammed 225 doubles and 59 triples while scoring 561 runs. And after retiring from baseball, Mickey Misilota worked in the carpet business in New York then later moved to Green Acres, Florida. And, may, and perhaps he's now in Las Vegas because I got this from Las Vegas and I'm not sure where I actually sent this to. I think I might have sent it to Florida. Not positive, but um, thank you so much, Miss Alota. Miss Alota. Hope I'm saying your name right. Um, and he did answer a few questions. I always do appreciate it. I love it. I love it when these old timers answer my questions. I love getting these returns from these guys. And I ask him, who was your favorite teammate in professional baseball? That would be Granny Handred, shortstop with the Phillies. Do you have a favorite baseball memory? First day I put on a big lean uniform. And I asked him as well, what was your job in the army? Thanks again. And and he, and he said he was an um, amphibious engineer. I was an army sailor, I think that says. Couldn't quite make out this next part. Per, I think it's something to do about a landing craft. I mean, I think he was stationed on landing crafts. I was looking a little bit up about um, Amphibious engineers, they were a specialized group of soldier sailors, hybrid soldier sailors. As they, their mission was to transport men and equipment to shore and shore operations and construct piers and dock facilities and roads and landing strips. And so he's on the landing craft. Now that I look at that, I think that says so. Once again, thank you so much for your service to our country, Mr. Malot, Miss Alota. Um, do appreciate it very much. And I'm going to show you here now my update on this 1954 reprint set. So this this is the 1994 Topps Archive set and I've been working on this which is a reprint of the 1954 set and I've been working on that since about December I've been getting some returns so in this set, there's a total of 258 cards in this set. And just 21 cards are of living players. So not many of these guys left. But I, it's like, you know what? I'm going to try to get some of these terrific men, you know, and see if I can get them signed. So I've got so far 18 signed since December 2020, including Mr. Misi Loda. Um, I'm going to go through them real quick. Just give you a little update. This is start, and this was the December 14, 2020 return. 11 days, no fee. This was Dick Grout. This was Ted Kazaniski was a, um, on December 15, 2020, 12 days, no fee. This was Dick Schofield. Got him on December 21st, 2020, 18 days, no fee. And I got Mel Roach on December 24th, 2020, 21 days, no fee. Then I got Eddie Robinson. 100 years old, 100 years young. He has a terrific podcast, too, I've been listening to. He was, uh, I got this on December 28, 2020. 25 days, that was for a $10 fee. And I got Mr. Ray Herbert. Um, that was on just January 12, 2021, 40 day, days, no fee. And then Ray Crone on Dece January 23rd, 51 days, no fee. Bob Aldis on... February 2nd, 10 days, no fee. Camilo Pasquale, that was um, February 4th, 9 days, $10 fee. Charlie, and go, also go by Tim. 
Charlie Thompson, Charlie Tim Thompson. He was um, he was February fifth, thirteen dollars, no fee. And I had him. Uh, I had Mr. Vern Law with all these cool inscriptions. Love this one, Cy Young, World Series champion, nineteen sixty. Um, he was uh, on February eighth. He was um, thirteen days, eight dollar fee. Jim Willis um, had him on. Um, on February 9th, that was $17, no fee. And this here was Mr. Carl Erskine. I have got a return from him before, but this was the eBay purchase for a couple bucks. I got this. I had just recently sent on Mr. Erskine. I got got that in uh, March. I did a video about that on March 21st. By the way, you can go back and watch videos as well. I'll try to put that up on the screen. If you are interested in looking back on my returns. Bill Verdon, he was on... April 22nd, $10, no, um, $5 fee. Tom Qualters was, um, May 7th, $155, no fee, uh, 155 days, no fee, $155. Bobby Shantz, TTM legend, like a lot of these guys are, uh, May 10th, seven days, $5 fee. He's a quick one. Mr. Roy Face, El Roy Face, he was on May 11th, and he was eight days, $5 fee. And most recently, I got Mr. Johnny O'Brien on this card with his buddy Eddie. Rest in peace. This was recently on June 28th. This is $16, no fee. So now I'm adding Mr. Misa Loda to this bunch. And I just have a three more remaining. One of them I probably have no chance of getting. That would be the great Willie Mace. Does not sign. TTM. Uh, he's a hard... Hard one to get back. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any TTMs on uh, Sports Collector since 2006. Very rare. And I have this card here. He was this guy's a hit and miss here, Mr. Billy Hunter. Hunter. He's uh, 93 years old. I looking at his um, things. He's had a lot of fails over the last year or so, but there was a recent um, return quoted to Sports Card Forum on May 17th. So I'm gonna send that out to the, send out that out to him, and um, Bob Ross. I just sent out. To, I had forgot and I missed him. I just bought his car right off of eBay. And he's he, he's had some recent successes as well. So I get those two, and I don't know any chance of Willie Mays. Who knows? Should get the car just in case. Um, so anyways, thank you for joining me today. Just a little update here on this um, set. I've been working on. I love these cards. Um, they look so cool. The reprint. Ah, oh, they look so neat, nice, signed, don't they? And these old timers here, looking good, going strong. Eddie, 100 years old, amazing. Bobby Shantz, I think, is um, 95. Erskine, I don't know what he is. I think he's 93, 94. Like, yeah, these guys are going strong. Got to get them now. If you want you want to get these guys, go out. Send out some TTMs for them. You can find them all. Uh, all got all my address from sportscollectors.net and sportscardforum.com. I, I do prefer sportscollectors.net. I do get the $15 a year subscription to get the added features. But sportscardforum.com is a pretty darn good site, too. I started off with that. So, anyways, uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much, Mr. Misolota. Um, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, someone let me know. Is that Misolota or Misilota? Michilota, maybe? Um, but um, thank you so much, and um, thank you so much for answering those questions. Do appreciate this so much. These guys don't have to do this. They enjoy doing this. So, anyways, take care. I hope you're well. God bless. Peace.